Ranking member yields back. Is there further discussion? Ms. Comlogger Dove. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I do oppose this um, resolution and at the risk of getting too existential, uh, which I don't want to do because um, yeah, enlightenment, you know, is challenging sometimes here. Um, I, I just think it's really important that we um, not get caught up in what a person wants, you know, what industry wants, what, because um, it's not about that. It's not about what ranchers want, or it's about coexistence. And how do we work on legislation that will allow for biodiversity, rich biodiversity, and existence between all of the species that are on this planet? Um, you, we, I think, of it as, you know, the land is not our provider, it's our partner. And species migrate. There is habitat degradation that happens because of all sorts of things, climate change, drought, uh, predators, humans. And what are we doing to actually allow for rich biodiversity and species protection without undermining those things? And there has to just be a better way that allows for, truthfully, more bipartisan discussion about what it is that we want to achieve and what we're trying to do. I heard my colleagues say, where are we trying to go? I don't know that we're trying to go the same place. And I'm hopeful that we can come up with legislation that allows us to go to the same place, to arrive at the same destination, which is how are we protecting species that are fragile if they're not endangered? How do we protect populations that are fragile if they're not endangered? Because we run the risk of waking up in a moment where none of these species will exist to the detriment of us and that we have no information on how many timber companies are closing because of these bats or how many oil operators have shut down because of these chickens. It would be worthwhile to have that kind of information. It is so hard to unwind some of these things that are being proposed. And if we could just pause and be more thoughtful about how we want to live and what coexistence really means, so that we have a planet where people and all species can thrive, we would all be better off. And maybe I share because we, we just heard from the president of Korea that actually talked about real important things and how it's, we should be rising above the pettiness of some of this. It was disheartening how tense this committee was before we took a break. And can we just reset and think about what biodiversity and species protection and partnering with this planet should look like? Not for the benefit of a few, not for the benefit of industry. So I'm going to urge my colleagues to vote no. Lady yields back.